Bhakta 
प्रकृति स्वामवष्टभ्य प्रकृति स्वामवष्टभ्य विसृजा पुनः पुनः विसृजा पुनः पुनः confess. Uh-huh. That you are the great criminal. It is you who is protecting the world. We are going to hang you from the nearest lamp post. Why? You have confessed the crime. This dirty, filthy world of sorrows and pain and disease and death and disaster and poverty. Who protected? You protected. You confessed it. Ram says yes. You are right. I project. Are you not then the criminal who is the cause of all the sorrows of the world? Sri Ram Swami is out here. Who has worked for forty-five years in the secretary? Forty-five years ago, he reached there as a typist, and because he's a South Indian, he crawled up and up and up, and as a deputy secretary for P. W. D. He retired. One year before his retirement. He took some leave and went to South India. Went into his village, and there called the village head, and they called them maps, and found out where his ancestral property is. It is a small little property that he marked it up. His nephew is there in the village. He has been. Trusted upon to build a wall around it, and if he inquired if there any contractor, then he will say there is a local man who is very honest to God fearing, and he has got respect and reverence towards you and your family. Correct. That contractor would do. I want a small little house built here. Yes, sir. So he said, sir, black. Black. He's PWD 30, 40 years. Who is that? Do me a little paper and pencil. He drew. A small. A narrow veranda, a small kitchen, equally small dining room, one bedroom, it's an attached bathroom, so small a bathroom that you can never fall in that bathroom. <laughs> Be the name of the house. So he said, 
Shanti Niket. So that was an economic piece of marble, and that also fixed up at the gate, and they're burning. Right. Retire. There was a welfare party. One week before that, he asked the PWD contractor, I would need two or three trucks to take my things to South India. Yes, sir. PWD. That's a free three trucks. Three trucks full of things that he has collected in these 40 years by his own effort and collected from the various guest houses. <laughs> and his wife has got a habit of collecting bottles, <laughs> old newspaper bundles, and she will not allow to part with it. Anyway, free transport. Everything at the hotel. <laughs> Now this great man has six sons and four daughters. <laughs> In South India it is not unique. All of them very married, happy living. In various parts of South India. Each one has got on an average four, five, two. <laughs> when they heard that Daddy and Mommy are coming back to my job, flying in, retired, coming back, and then afterwards Daddy and Mommy are going in a car to a village, all of them decided to see Daddy as Daddy. Is all alone for an old man. Mommy is too old. We will help them to sit it down. And that's each one of them thought. Then couples. Each couple. Average. How <laughs> Four or five. See that? So once you hear what the memory is. <laughs> Each one the car full. <laughs> All of them wish the left the airport to receive mommy and daddy. And when mommy and daddy got down, get the bike. Must be some VIP is coming in the place. <laughs> Why? It's only when he came here, he found that all of them are springing from him alone. <laughs> He's the source of the whole. He was very happy. He got in his car with his wife and the <laughs> lunch basket and all that. And he started. There comes ten cars. Each car loaded. But that is a natural way in South India. <laughs> and when he reached the village, through the crooked lanes, he raised his piece of land. And he got really annoyed. The three trucks are already standing in that lane. He called an enemy. Get come out of here. When did you arrive there? Yesterday. But happy that you could not unload it. Sir, I could unload. But where to place it? <laughs> By that time, from these ten cars, all the four doors opened <laughs> and it all yet. <laughs> And the children of varying sizes, they dashed into Grandpapa's house. One day, one day. 
this misconception that by drinking you will become happy, or one more wife you will become happy. You learn to live the values of life, thereby creating a new pattern or plan. See whether the Lord tomorrow he reconstructs the world. Is it that really the Lord is the cause for all your sorrows in India today? Is it God made or man made? Let you yourself think I do not want your answer. Every sorrow in this country is man made. Not only in this country, all over the place. Iraq, Iraq, Lebanon. Who made God? God only was faithfully giving you what exactly you demand. Man must change to change the world. Don't blame God. However, we don't want to change. I'll continue pickle and stew in your own juice. <laughs> but tell me what will happen in the world? Nothing will happen. It is not going to improve. It will become disastrously again and again. Worse and worse. No security. Nothing. Why the jungle law? Why? Because you and I are not ready to change. But Swamiji, how can you make everybody change? Not necessary. One fellow change. Since I change, I deserve a better world. Therefore, the poor Lord, as a true contractor, will have to make a better world for me to stay. But why I deserve a better world? One Punyatma is sufficient. One Jesus, one Muhammad or one, uh, what is it, a Buddha. One must. Well, it has to change. Wherever he goes, there must be prosperity. Why? He doesn't deserve poverty. That's why in Puranas we say that now Mahatma has come, we are sure the rain will come. Why? We have no water to drink. No, no, no. But Mahaprasha has come, rain will come because he has no vasanas to suffer. He must have water. The Lord will have to come and say, well, put a jug of water, you know, it has to. One person changed. None of us want to change. Everybody wants to remain in this corruption and say that you all change. Can he be at our God too? <laughs> then I will come and inaugurate the prosperity. Nobody wants to remove the poverty by himself working. To Hatao. Can he be at our is it? Slowly. Each one saying, the other fellow is responsible. You all somehow will remove the poverty. Huh? Then they go, how I will inaugurate prosperity in this country. Whatever to you, I can't do it. I will just do it. So long as this is the attitude, country cannot improve, society cannot improve, community cannot improve. He should take the responsibility on himself. I shall live the right life. Whether others are living or not. In that effort, I am ready to die if necessary. You live? It has to be. Changing the culture of a country, the climate of a country, the character of a country is not by the parliament or the leader. <laughs> They cannot with you. You change and see whether other is not changing or not, or the world around you is not changing. And nobody else like that. Everybody says, Bhagavan, you created a bad world, accusing him. That is why he is not answering you. It is meaningless to answer you. You are unnecessarily accusing you. See that? According to the majority, 
the Vasana that you have created. Visarja me puna puna. I really, I myself project the whole world for you. But the quality of the world is depending upon the blueprint that you are giving. Visarja me puna puna. Buddha Krama Mimam Krishna is the entire world of living beings. Buddha Krama, Krama, collection. This entire universe of living beings. Buddha Krama Mimam Krishna, total, no exception. Avasham Bhagavad Gita, they are helpless. Each one will create a world according to his own vasana. Until you change the texture quality of your death psychological nature, even God cannot help you. Because he is only a contractor. You want that? Okay. You want this? Okay. It's a very, very deep significance of these two verses. That I am the creator, but I am not responsible for the creation. Why? I am only giving you what you cried for. Right? You don't know how to cry for the right thing. What am I to do? The child is crying, Jani, Mary Jani Jaya, Mary Jani Jaya. And he is a very kind father. Better. It's really hot. is hot. And it told him ten times it's hot. No, I want it, I want it, I want it. Wrap it up to the top. Then you say that this daddy is the boss for the whole thing. And the mummy and the child will always join together. <laughs> and both of them together say, no, I not just as the father become absolutely silent <laughs> with no sense of guilt, I told you. And to console the mother saying that this is the only way to teach one son. So tomorrow onwards, no, it is hot if I say he will not touch it. But he is your son, he may again take it. <laughs> <laughs> So, Lord, you are creating the whole thing. In that case, you must be the greatest criminal in the world. Oh, so you must be suffering terribly. No, I don't suffer at all. Why? All in creation is going on. I am unattractive. I have neither ego nor ego centric desires in doing it. I am not doing it. Therefore, I don't develop any vasana to suffer. Uh, uh, similarly, if you and I start living godly lives and express your actions in the world outside without ego and egocentric desire, nothing, no result and will come to you. We'll be doing a beautiful job in the world outside. The Lord creates an environment absolute cleanness. For each one of us, according to the Vasana demands in each individual. Therefore, I am creating the world for my pleasure. Because I the higher, don't need it. But you need it. And therefore, according to your Vasana, I create the living form of a temple as determined by the plan, the blueprint you have given me. You mean I'm the individual? All are put together. I project a world where all of you can. Mm.